A unique business jet for Microsoft Flight Sim that comes at an affordable price, but is it worth it? In today's video, I'll be quickly reviewing the H-Jet by Marwin and Flight FX. Let's get right into it. Hello YouTube, I'm Pilot Stud, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm taking a look at a proper little business jet. I don't think I've ever reviewed a proper one on my channel like this before, so it is a first. This is a fantastic little plane, the HJet HA420 by Marin Garib and Flight FX. Now, if you're a good supporter of my channel, you might have saw my first impressions video that was released last night, which took a rough look at this aircraft, giving you my first impressions. This video is going to be a bit more polished, and therefore, I'm going to try and get it to you in 8 minutes. The video itself is going to be split into chapters, as always, so you can skip to the bit you want to see down below through the timestamp. So without further delay, let's get right into it. So you can pick this up on the marketplace right now for 24 US dollars 99 cents on both PC and Xbox. If you're in the UK, that means you can pick it up for around 20 UK pounds 99 pence exclusively through the marketplace, as I said, both through PC and Xbox. Now this aircraft is based off the Honda Jet, which is a unique little business jet, but because of course licensing restricts it from actually being called that, it assumes the name of Hate Jet. And it downloads and installs quickly because it's in the marketplace, so you don't need to do any messing around. I think that sums it up nicely, let's talk about the external model. Now notably this aircraft has its engines mounted off its wings to the top, not the bottom, and definitely not off the fuselage. That of course makes this aircraft very recognisable as a small business jet. It's been modelled exceptionally, it looks really good, I think anyway, and it includes so many liveries that you really can't get bored of it. Quite nicely as well, all the doors open as you'd expect, but to add on to that there's a custom ground power unit that sits there when you've got your brakes on. And all your engine covers and remove before flight tags are also included. And of course, when you open the door, the stairs come down as well because it's all part of it. The external model is great. Only thing I'd pick up on is the gear bay door at the front. It doesn't look as good as the rest of the aircraft does, but unless you're getting really close to it, it doesn't matter. Now moving inside the aircraft, the cockpit is immaculate, it looks really good, it's certainly got a slightly used feel to it, with a bit of dust, a few fingerprints here and there, but aside from that, it looks really good. We'll be talking about systems later, so let's move back into the cabin. Now being a business jet, you can fit a few passengers in the back, I believe it's 5 or 6, there's also a toilet and a sink in the back of there. Now as I said earlier, the the engines are mounted off the wings, not off the fuselage. That means the cabin is really, really quiet, which of course, wealthy business people will of course love when they're sitting in the back of this aircraft. That's been modelled really well on Microsoft Flight Sim, and really big windows allow you to get a great view outside. Inside has been modelled to a great standard, and I think for £20, we're already on to a winner here. Now we move over to systems. This is a really easy aircraft to get started once you know where all the buttons are. I mean you could literally get this plane started in probably 30 seconds. The engines turn on quickly and the integrated checklist is really helpful. Now systems do involve a lot of the working title at 3000 software. That's a good thing because it means you're getting a high quality and of course it's been changed and adjusted somewhat to match what a real Honda jet looks like. Occasionally you might find a slight flicker on the screen as some sort of bug, especially when you're looking at the engine parameters, but that's more than likely an issue between your simulator and your controls than it is the systems. Speaking of systems, Autopilot is fantastic, it relies a lot of the working title software, but aside from that it's really good, although I should say that's a good thing. Working title have done a really good job here, so I'm glad that Marwin has integrated it into his aircraft, which is clearly a labour of love. Everything just feels really integrated, really centralised, I mean you don't need to be searching around the cockpit for hours on end to find the right button, it is literally all right in front of you, which explains why in real life this aircraft has a one pilot certificate, meaning that you don't even need a co-pilot in real life. Like most general aviation aircraft, you'd forget it's a business jet, it's really really good. 
Those sounds are also a big selling point here, they are awesome. As I said, in the back of the cabin it's quite quiet because the engines aren't bolted onto the side of the cabin. It results in a really pleasant flying experience throughout the aircraft. Now briefly moving on to flight model, flight model takes a bit of adjusting to. This aircraft is powerful, it also likes to pull up and down at incredible rates. Flaps also seem to be very powerful and you do need to put your nose down quite significantly to counteract your flaps when you do put them down. I'm going to imagine that's how this aircraft flies in real life, but if you're used to any other plane or Microsoft flight sim, it's going to take a bit of getting used to. Which I guess makes this aircraft more realistic, because everyone complains that in Microsoft flight sim, the aircraft are too light. This aircraft, certainly in some ways, is very heavy, in others it's quite light as well. I do also have a tendency to float with this aircraft on landing, but you can land it pretty nicely regardless. Now hopping back to systems there because I did skim over a few bits, LNAV and VNAV are also included through the uh, working title G3000 suite and all the updates that Garwell and the FlightFX team have done. Most things are automated, from lighting being somewhat automated to a hydraulics to anti-ice. It's a very centralised aircraft, as I've said. Lights all seem to work fine, although they are automated. I believe these are my strobes flashing here, but I don't know. They seem very bright, but I believe they're strobes, so I think they're meant to be like that. The only bug I can find is that some lights can't be controlled via the menu. It won't let you press on or off. But if you want an aircraft where the pilot is in control, this certainly isn't the one, because this aircraft is borderline flying itself. Referring back to systems as well, if you go into the little Garmin system, the bottom right one, you'll find ways to adjust payload in, in, in an integrated manager. It works really well, although sadly, when you put passengers in the back, they don't appear in the back. I think that would be a cool feature. I don't know if they can do it. But you can even control stuff like individual light bulbs and even put down the window shades, which I think is pretty cool. Clearly, a lot of TLC has gone into this aircraft. There are a few bugs, as I've hinted at throughout this video, and said the ones that annoy me most. Flight model does take a bit of getting used to, for me anyway. I did have to go through and sort out my sensitivity settings to get what I would call a decent experience. But aside from that, it's great fun. I give it a solid rating of 8 out of 10. For the money, it's great value. We don't see planes this cheap anymore, so it's great to see a somewhat high fidelity aircraft at this price. I wouldn't call it study level, but who knows, it might be. I have, haven't really got the place to say I don't fly the Honda Jet in real life. So of course, you've got to remember that. But it certainly takes a bit of getting used to, like anything. But aside from that, it's, it's, it's a relatively easy aircraft to fly, with everything, almost everything, being automated. There we have it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I've tried to keep it as short as possible while retaining all the information you need to know. You can pick this up on the marketplace for both PC and Xbox now. It's a great little business jet. Very powerful. It's literally a rocket. For me today, that is all. I'll see you around. Thank you so much to my first class channel members, you guys really do help me out and in return you get a shout out on the screen now. Last thing I want to say is check out my Amazon affiliate links for all the stuff I use to fly, film and edit. I'll see you around. Goodbye.